Hi everyone. Today's topic is quite an interesting topic where I am going to tell you the difference between sabza seeds it also known as basil seeds and chia seeds. Generally when we go to the market we often get confused because both the seeds appear so similar. So today's video is on all the differences where you can actually figure out which is sabza and which is chia. Also not to forget I'm going to discuss with you the benefits of sabza and chia and also the disadvantages of having in excess. Make sure a basic difference of sabza. Sabza is basically black in color. It's round in shape and it easily gets swelled up the minute you put it in the water. So let's talk firstly about sabza seeds in other words basil seeds. Sabza is a diuretic hence it is very good source for people who suffer from frequent urinary tract infections or in other words UTI since it helps to reduce estrogen it's help it's helpful for females who have excessive bleeding during menses sabza since a rich source of fiber definitely is good for weight management or aids in weight management it's good for diabetes it's good for constipation and it act also acts good when it comes to acidity so for those who suffer frequent constipation or acidity make sure you always include sabza in any form in your liquids it can be sabza water it can be lemon water with sabza buttermilk with sabza or any liquids that you are frequently having it sabza also helps to keep your mood calm so it's a natural coolant and helps it keeps your mood really well since sabza or basil seeds are rich source of omega 3 protein and of course fiber make sure you do not have anything in excess because excess of sabza seeds can lead to diarrhea vomiting nausea sometimes acne acid reflux abdominal discomfort and many other gastric troubles so make sure sabza quantity should be as per advised by your dietitian Now let's talk about chia seeds. Well, chia seeds, the brother of sabza seeds, also has some positivity and some negativity. Let's talk about positivity. So, chia seeds basically are also rich source of anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. It is also omega-3 protein rich, fiber rich. But however, excess of chia seeds can also lead to the same problems like bloating, gas, abdominal discomfort. So, make sure chia seeds has also been taken as per prescribed by your dietitian. Make sure the minute you're having chia seeds, it's only advisable when you are in the weight gain journey, or not advisable for people who definitely or frequently have allergies. Also, not to forget, sabza and chia seeds are definitely a healthy source of omega-3 and protein. So it works wonder when it comes to your skin, hair, nails. So definitely include sabza and chia seeds as per your needs. Make sure you include sabza in your liquids and your chia seeds in your smoothies or puddings. Not to have in excess to avoid any kind of discomfort.